Let's review this set. Hello Internet and welcome to this video. Today I'm reviewing a Lego Spider-Man set back from 2004 based on the movie from the same year, Spider-Man 2. Of course, as every Le Lego set reviewer, the first character I want, I want I'm going to review is uh, from minifigures being my main character himself, Spider-Man. Played by one and only Tobey Maguire. The character has has, a, uh, has some interesting detail, with the web pattern being uh, metallic silver, with actual back printing and back on the head printing, which wasn't very common back in back in uh, two thousand and four. With the only characters for me being uh, for me being known being the characters from first Spider Man movie back in two thousand two, being being Mary Jane and Green Goblin. On than that, there's definitely interesting uh, print printing. Uh, on the hips to show webs, as well as more realistic uh, spider logo, which I which first time when I got the set I was kind of terrified for some reason as a, as a, a, it's a very realistic Spider-Man, not the chunky cartoonish looking one that we got later on, or the very tiny uh, asymmetrical one we get we have nowadays. Overall, it's a definitely definitely an interesting figure even from back, even from back then, with all the detail. And one of the first attempts at making a mus muscle detail on the minifigure, which is very visible due to being very being, being very lightly touched and stuff. Now it's being very pronounced. Uh, I do I do say one thing though. I do pref do prefer the uh, des the uh, this design for Spider-Man mostly because uh, I say the realist the the, the bigger uh, the bigger eyes do do look better. My opinion to, to to make the make the character more more uh, cartoonish looking instead of nowadays having some of the small eyes like it's it's always kind of felt uh, kind of too real too modern as well, like the character doesn't it's supposed to be more of a teenager teenager that's uh, that's fighting bad guys right which I mean yeah makes the character more professional with the smaller eyes but I personally prefer if he has bigger eyes it kind of gives that actual spider vibe rather than just uh, Spider-Man IP, but slightly different, a different design. Next, uh, next, next one is a, a gel teeth. It's uh, not much, not much to say about the character because it's a, uh, it's a very regular teeth. Not interesting about him as a, if you if you consider all the uh, teeth we have nowadays from, from Lego City, it, it doesn't. Ha it has definitely a very different design. It doesn't have the the stripe stripes that it always always wearing. He does. He does wear has, has uh, that red color being the jacket that was it was it's actually uh, kind of common as it was the later used for the traveler from Lego City. It does also have that uh, uh, iconic uh, classic space logo on on uh, on his chest. Well, then that lets me feel like uh, that's one of the uh, multiple interesting things about him. The second one being that his face is the real of the uh, of the crook face from Le from Lego City, which uh, which means that it's an original face but in different color. Which in my opinion always was definitely makes it, makes it interesting since it's something that you not usually see every day. Yeah, it makes it makes the face not as rare as uh, having a single set exclusive face print. But I I don't know. I'm not much much into uh, what's considered a very rare or what's not just kind of something that uh, has visually usually stand stand out which definitely for me was always the crook faces uh, especially like this, this one and the second one being this uh, uh, exclusive to this set blue blue uh, exclusive ex exclusive to this set a blue backpack that you can actually fit stuff in like you can you can put a jam and close it and there you go, and, and in which has a similar connection to the old books and laptops that use use the more uh, use the more uh, hinge stuff, which uh, which it's kind of going gets gets uh, kind of uh, destroyed over time as a, as a, because the more you the more you move it, the more you move it, the more it uh, becomes more loose and you get and all this white crease on on it. It never broke on me, but. It's definitely something that you can, that you can maybe consider a, a bad thing, but still, it's definitely, definitely surprising since you get open it, even though the character, uh, 
doesn't stand. You have, you basically was one of those characters that you basically have to like make him look like old man, which I mean, then it's probably a bit difficult at least for me, because I have a camera and you don't. Like, but again, he definitely he needs to, he needs to look like he's having a hunchback. And also, and also Paul's there, which is because it's an old Lego system, Lego uh, Lego ad adventures uh, set. When it's when, uh, on a, based on the old Lego, it's from the old Lego adventures theme. Jesus, when there's uh, when there's like uh, when you can, you can put stuff like pickaxes, shovels, and all that stuff there, and there's like a long bar. So here, like, all you can do is just put uh, multiple gems. Then you can now you get in this set. All right, and the last is uh, Jewel Thief number two, uh, and uh, and he also has two interesting things. The first one being that his face is not not only uh, very similar to the crooks from the Lego Batman two thousand six two thousand eight series, but his face, at least to me, is very similar to the uh, yellow yellow only uh, face that the Lego 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 City started using since two thousand five. This cracker. Like, it's very similar, the only difference is that instead of him being angry, he's this time smiling. It's like a different, different expression. Definitely very odd. But I do, I do uh, kind of miss, miss the one that's, gr that's grunty, but what you gonna do? Uh, another interesting thing, thing uh, that you can see is his torso. Uh, when, uh, what, you wanna know what's interesting about this one? It's exclusive to this set only. I don't know. He he does. He sort of kind of looks like like Miles Morales' parent being the, instead of being red Spider-Man, he's a black Spider-Man, and I don't know why they decided to do it because I'm pretty sure that those two characters are uh, exclusive to this set and and aren't like uh, appearing in a movie. He's bas they're basically just some random fucks that, to me like uh, Spider-Man saves the day, like very typical. Because the set in some itself, as I'll say later, it's not that not uh, it's not that very creative. But other than that, it's definitely an interesting character for a robber. I do like it since it is. I do like both of them since they aren't just very typical robbers that are just wearing stripes. It they have they have something unique about them. You, you know what I mean? Oh, I mean yeah, it's a two thousands Lego and stuff like that. But still, I take I take what we what we get, and I'd say it's pretty good. The set itself consists of only uh, this. It has uh, definitely it is another just uh, is uh, another good thing about this. It has those uh, old, sadly retired uh, tr uh, tricycles or whatever it's called. I, I always call, call it tricycles since it's a uh, uh, best. It's a bike with uh, three wheels. The build is kind of bland since all they have is just two gems uh, gems on it. I'm guessing because they're kind of rushing since this was a, a year a year after they're almost going to bankrupt because it doesn't feel they're almost going Lego was almost going to bankrupt because of their poor decisions. Uh, I'm guessing we're just kind of rushing the whole thing, so we we got this kind of thing. I don't I don't like the feature on the feature of this tricycle since I never had this and it's a pretty fun looking vehicle. You can definitely do something so incredible with it. If you ever seen uh, Lego Star Wars sets or Lego Space Police uh, sets, then you can they can definitely see what I mean. Uh, other than that, there's 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 this kind of kind of a, a I guess Easter egg since it's very since it's difficult to see. Uh, Vag Street. I don't know. I don't know if that's something from the from the movie. Like I said, this the entire set is mostly just a this mostly just original project, kind of just uh, kind of just uh, get I guess Spider Man himself in a cheaper set, which I don't know why they decided to even include an exclusive exclusive character in it. And I guess another exclusive character. I don't exactly know if this face was reused again in some of the ways. I mean, in Light Nugget, not the just face itself, since like I said, it's a crook face. But like I said, it's definitely definitely weird. I I don't know why this was like a, like a like a Easter egg. I, I guess I, I I don't know. I'm not exactly American, so maybe the main Varick Street actually exists in real life. I don't know. And also, every set con consists consider uh, consisted of having this translucent blue spider spider. Which uh, if you've ever seen the 2002 Spider-Man sets, then you definitely can consider this as a the, the one spider that gave Spider-Man superpowers in that in. Uh, that universe, the Tommy Maguire, what I call universe. 
definitely we didn't have the what they kind of constantly introduced and kind of always had this this end but definitely was one of the things that definitely made me for example a very me very um uh, memorable to those sets even though i only remember seeing just pictures of them like many years later like back in 2010s when i got the lego interest in just in, in lego so definitely this also is kind of make me kind of uh, iconic because of that spy that spider being always featured in uh, also also there's uh, this as a diamond shop, which in the instructions it shows that, that you can that you that you basically uh, uh, that's where the robbers took the, took the uh, crystals because I mean uh, uh, you know because 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 uh, yeah, you need to say more. Uh, the only thing I really I only don't like is uh, I guess the ramp is kind of bland as like I guess it's supposed to be as like they took. Took the uh, take took the board the uh, 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 under construction I guess uh, road and decided to just to just change it into the ramp so that they could like skate on. Another inter definitely interesting thing is that it's made made out of plates and of tiles like not the like, big tile but like multiple tiles like like it's made made of like four dark bluish gray tiles. It's Definitely odd, but, def but I guess it's supposed to be for more maybe for like a uh, alternate building because Lego was still doing alternate builds uh, up until I'm pretty sure 2008. I, I mean, because in 2000, uh, I mean, on the back of the box, they're doing it until uh, 2006 and they completely stopped making it after 2008 when they, when they were more of a level when they were more like like a, a additional, I guess, bonus like so, like, like you can like, go to Lego Club and then they will give you like alternate instructions uh, for, for some. Uh, for some sets, which definitely were definitely interesting, like throwing an entire tank into an in, entire track into like a base or something like that. I mean, uh, I'm going off off track there. Uh, also, also, if you didn't figure out this, the, all, all those uh, all those uh, patterns are stickers, including this skateboard, which I can kind of see it's kind of odd as why it has a Spider-Man logo. That kind of makes me think, makes me really think that it was supposed to give Spider-Man there, since in Sp superheroes are very known. For having out of no, uh, 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 very unnecessary vehicles, especially Spider Man. If you've seen the new Lego Spider Man sets, they always give him so many vehicles that feels kind of like kind of dumb. Especially because they're kind of funny if, if they're like, making fun of them in the comics. That's why he has such a Spider Man pattern of vehicles. And then the Lego come in and come and be like, we gotta make the vehicles for Spider Man because we, because we need to sell sell it for kids. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of dumb. I kind of say it looks kind of funny on on the crew. Cause like they're supposed to be bad guys, yet they are in there having having like uh, some kind of Spider-Man pattern on it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like like maybe they kind of uh, took took the merchant. That's about it. I don't know. Another inclusion that I don't like, which I gonna come back to it, is the inclusion of this uh, mouse. Like yeah, it's uh, it's kind of kind of rare. A reddish brown version, which uh, more common is that was the light bridge gray version before they discontinued that 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 mouse. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like it's very unnecessary since it just it's, it's just there. It's kind of like they had no idea how to make make the set more interesting. They decided just not only add the spider, and I guess also the the tricycle, but also to add a mouse out of nowhere. Like why, why? Uh, an interesting thing I guess is this. Technique uh, for for the lamp. I don't know if they still using it. The blue technique is still being used to this day, but I see it's a it's a nice feature. Um, that's all I, I I guess that's all I can say about the set. Next, I do wanna show the, the show the instructions since it's a, it's a two thousand four set. If if you guys didn't know, uh, in years two thousand three two thousand four. All this, all the uh, Lego sets had this uh, bluish effect. Some of them having actual character and then poking out, some of them don't. The, uh, it was kind of also uh, reused from the Knight's Kingdom 2 that was going from 2004 to 2006, still, still using the same effect. I'd say it's, uh, I, I'd say, uh, I just wanted to point out since it's honestly my favorite effects. It kind of gives, gives it kind of an iconic look for Lego. I mean, other than uh, the logo, the, I guess, bricks and Star Wars, of course. But I'd say, I kind of wish kind of brought it back. I mean, they kind of were using content again with Lego City until they completely scrapped it and make it more unique, which I do like. But uh, I still kind of wish they did like a new Lego theme and they kind of included it. Also, I can see it's rushing because the instructions is going to show a different, bit different build for the lamp. And here it's like this. 
it's like they had no idea what to make. So I kind of just started just kind of just switching, like for example, with the web. web. Definitely another interesting thing is that uh, on the uh, 2000 sets, 2000 set, uh, all the black is kind of more shown as a as a different shade of gray, which I kind of which I kind of like since uh, the white outline, yeah, it's more visible for little kids, but at the same time it can it can also sometimes be distracting. For example, when there's like a multiple a multiple molded uh, a color that ends up having like a uh, yellow, having white outline, it just looks so bad. With this one, only having like just a little bit of trouble when the kids like like he doesn't understand. I mean. If he doesn't understand, then he could just ask ask uh, uh, his other partner for help. So I don't actually see it seen as a problem. On the on the other hand, just be as bright as 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 bright for little kids. I mean, yeah, like for like, I guess for little kids at this point, since they better focus on old people other than their favorite fr uh, friend, the popular licenses in the Lego, like Stranger Things, and that's about it anyway. Uh, also, the Spider Man head. That's the only thing. Kind of, he kind of just pops out in multiple things. And I show that's also Rashus because they show shown uh, him for some here for some reason with yellow uh, yellow hips. That's uh, that's all I can say. I guess no much uh, to no much to show. Uh, other than uh, at the at the final, there's a uh, other build, which does does show show that they that they use they use the use the tiles from the ramp. To create create something else with it, like like here you can see the ramp is a bit smaller than the than the one in the actual set, and the one of the those tiles are used for use for uh, whatever this is, and of course when and this time it's not win on the back. This time has uh, uh, all the other Spider-Man sets. I mean all the there's like also one one more and the four plus sets. Uh, I'm probably never gonna be able to talk to since it's fun fact. Those sets from this theme are bloody expensive. And it probably makes sense. It's the same uh, with Indiana Jones and, ba and 2006 Batman. They are bloody expensive because they are popular licenses that people like. I mean, I can definitely tell about for Indiana Jones because it's a popular it's like Star Wars, and I can tell about Spider Man because it's the Tommy Maguire one. You know, the ones, the the one, uh, uh, the one of the uh, all those memes, especially the third movie, which I actually kind of actually kind of like. I never saw it, but it definitely was one of my childhood traumas with the Sandman. Like, ooh. I wish we would have made sense of that from that, but back then it was basically the same hate as the Star Wars prequel trilogy that was very hated. It's unlike nowadays when it's kind of beloved. The times have changed. I like I miss the thousands, but at the same time they were definitely flawed. And all the times are flawed, even nowadays. Like you can say say Lego Lego nowadays is probably better, but even then it's still flawed. Like all the times when they're more edgy nowadays, they try very much to be family friendly to the point when it, when most of the sets are just popular licenses with the only original things being Ninjago City. And friends and that's about it. I mean there are video but most of them are just mm, then they're, they're barely any creative. Most of the original original films that people are even gonna talk about nowadays is just stuff that from two thousand like Bionicle, Mars Mission, maybe even Space Police. Me go call me actually one actually gonna find like I love Exoforce. Like there's so many original films from two thousands and now there's the only thing that I'm gonna you know, have is just Ninjago. Ninjago that was going from since 2011 and I think it should, it should, it should be completely different since after 2014. Like, like they keep bringing about the same characters again to finding constant new bad guys, guys that just, that just disappear next season. Like, and there was only one remember the original Snakes. I mean, yeah, they kind of back as the bad guys, but it, uh, I'm, I'm just going off track. Uh, never mind. Uh, uh, I don't have a box. Uh, there is not, not much uh, to show other than uh, like, like, like it's, he it's uses the same uh, bluish effect on the instruction booklet on on, uh, on the instruction booklet, and also Jesus Christ, this is, look how look how destroyed it is, and uh, you can you can uh, see you can see that it uh, has uh, not only another shot of the set, but also actually built and show shows that uh, that box. Uh, another box that, that the back that, that you can uh, you can open to uh, put all the gems in. Which I say is a bit def definitely a neat feature that I kind of miss, miss the Lego doing. So, overall, do I like this set? Yeah. It's not very good set. It's pretty flawed. But I'd say it's a it's a it's a good set it's a good set to cool, to still get. It's not it's not it's a pretty, pretty cheap probably other set probably not really. Uh, I'd say it's definitely good for a for a figure. So like it's not part of the Spider Man Spider Man uh, two story, but again it has a very very good figures and some some definitely actually exclusive parts like like the uh, blue bag, the robbers, 
in, in maybe I guess uh, red being kind of a kind of a, a rare thing to get in in reddish blue. I mean, <laughs> I mean reddish brown. So I'd say if you want if you want to look for the Spider-Man sets, definitely consider checking this one as well. It's small and simple, but with the with the uh, uh, with the with the, uh, with the uh, encourage to make alternate builds. You can definitely have fun with it, and I definitely did with all the with me being actually interested in those Atria builds since it's Lego. You build it, you build stuff, not just you build it and leave it to, until it dusts until you decide to sell it, and that's about it. It's the best that is use parts of it to just build something. So, like I said, worth getting, yeah. Uh, rating, uh, I'd say 7 out of 10. That's all I can say. Uh, I will, oh, um, also, before you, you click off this video, I'd say maybe you should consider subscribing. I'm only gonna say to like hit slice, hit smash, kick, lick. I don't know, put somewhere, somewhere inside the like button, because uh, I mean, you're definitely gonna see uh, did some my uh, uh, probably subscriber count, count and probably the view count probably like very low and something. And no, I mean, um, I, you can consider how much as like oh he's uh, complaining about he's getting low views. I do try my best, and I definitely enjoy what I'm making. And I'm apologize for making for that one, that one review when I show my face kind of stupidly too much of time and being completely just not funny. Like that because this honestly is cringe. I even destroyed the, god, the goddamn set, and, and now the set, the set is now so damaged. And, and I mean, um, all I can say just please subscribe. I really want this YouTube channel to hit 1,000 subscribers. Like I really want to. That's my, of course, the main goal because I can then get money out of it, and I want to make YouTube. So, uh, <sighs> I hope you have a nice day and goodbye. This was Teppy here signing out.